I ain't never seen two pretty best friends. It's always one of them that's fucking lesbian. <laughs> All the spaceship now I'm a space cadet Big white patch in my habitat Ain't right to stay like a nice tag Fuck a rich bitch Subscribe me how's you feel Pull it out, pull it out, pull it out, pull it out, pull it out. Oh, she passed away? Oh. Mm. Mm. All right. Hey, boy, hey, boy, hey, boy, hey, boy. Hello. What? In 2016, my mother voted for Hillary Clinton. I know that might not sound like a big deal, but it was the first time she and my father had voted for separate candidates in a presidential election. And she told me that I am the reason she made that choice. Today, after months and, well, years of pushing and fighting and articles and resources, my father texted me and told me that he does not plan to vote for Donald Trump this year. And he told me that I am the sole reason he made that choice. So, I don't know who needs to hear this, but keep pushing, keep fighting, keep having those conversations. If there are people in your life who are voting for Trump, who are listening, we can change their minds. It might not happen this election cycle, but eventually, we can do it. Stop being sad over one mediocre man. There are literally so many other mediocre men. <laughs> Facts. My soulmate probably me. <laughs> Later, kids under 80 free. Dad, what a coincidence. My son is turning eight tomorrow. Me, actually I'm 16. <laughs> oh, it took me out. I'll argue with a cat. I don't care. <laughs> My shower water doesn't feel like that. Interviewer, so tell me a little about yourself. Me, I'd rather not. I really need this job. <laughs> I give every guy a day to three red flag rule. The rule is if I find three or more red flags, then I'd be good. <laughs> this has to be the gayest shit that's ever happened to me. I... I posted a couch on um, Facebook Marketplace because I got a new one and I was just going to give it away for free. Yesterday, um, when messaging a few people who were interested in it, because you know, you never know who's going to flake last second, I got a message from somebody and they just told me to, you know, hit them up on Instagram, it's easier than Facebook Messenger. And so I did. <laughs> and let me tell you, they are the most beautiful person that I have ever seen in my life. So naturally I told them I'd give them the couch because I do play favorites. And then I found out that they are gonna be my neighbor in the future. So will something come of this? Will I make a move? No, because that's creepy, but I have a sense, so that's all. Men that I would let humiliate and degrade me. One. No man is worth losing my dignity over. I would never let anyone degrade me since I know my self-worth and love myself too much for that. I know better. Two. Share a story of a time a guy catcalled you or hit on you and reacted poorly to rejection. In seventh grade, I rejected a boy and his ego was so fragile that he spread a rumor around school that I was a lesbian and that's why I rejected him. He wasn't wrong, but that was just mean. Why are men so fucking stupid? They're all fucking stupid! Fuck!
everything I do is for gay people. I couldn't care less about straight people. I just do everything well, repu- for the gays. Repu- I mean, oh. everything I do is for gay people. I couldn't care less about straight people. I just do everything well, repu- for the gays. Repu- I mean, oh. <laughs> 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 You would not believe your eyes You would not believe Man, whoever said gay people know how to dress Let me show you something You have to stop vaccinating your kids Children that are vaccinated have a much higher chance of becoming adults. And speaking from experience, those people are the worst. I got a stank ass walk, and a reckless ass mouth. I got a stank ass walk, and a reckless ass mouth. I got a stank ass walk, and a reckless ass mouth. I got a stank ass walk, and a reckless ass mouth. I don't think I can get any gayer. Nah. Little did you know, she could get much, much gayer. Love is love, y'all. Unless it's with a white man, then it's colonization. Shameful. Not once, but twice. You use the term sexual preference to describe those in the LGBTQ community. And let me make clear, sexual preference is an offensive and outdated term. It is used by anti-LGBTQ activists to suggest that sexual orientation is a choice. It is not. Sexual orientation is a key part of a person's identity. Just did a gay thing. The thing I did was just so gay. And if you're wondering what it is, I'll tell you what I did. I did a gay thing. So, asexuality means not feeling sexual attraction. Yes. Asexuality is different from celibacy because people who are celibate can still experience sexual attraction. You're correct. But asexual people can still experience romantic attraction. Yes. Do all asexuals feel uncomfortable with sexual things? No. So someone can be asexual and sex favorable, which means they don't desire or seek out sex, but when they do engage in it for whatever reason, they can still find it a pleasant experience. You're correct. Why do people think asexuals are any of these things? Because. Because what? Lack of awareness. Me, any show that has lesbians in it. (laughs) Gay, lesbian, bisexual, all the gay hashtags are rainbow. Now watch, kissing the homies goodnight. See, it's not gay. (laughs) No, no, he's got a point. (laughs) Someone, but you don't look gay, me. Oh, sorry, let me just... Straight people, listen, I'm not homophobic, but making Elsa gay will make the kids confused about their sexuality. It's not normal. Also straight people. (laughs) (laughs) The only straight I am is a straight up bitch. (laughs) Put this on my grave. (laughs) Texting my girlfriend. Ooh, who are you texting? Your crush? Yeah. Oh my gosh, who is it? It's not a boy. (laughs)
Babe, come on. What? I'm trying to kiss your lips, but your legs are in the way. Okay, who was gonna tell me that we've had a queer president? Well, I don't wanna assume their sexuality, but I am gonna tell you why a lot of people think Honest Abe was a little gay. So firstly, Abraham Lincoln's stepmother once said he never took much interest into the girls. And at the age of 22, Abraham Lincoln lived with a man and shared a bed with a man named Billy Green. And historians have noticed that Billy Green has said some very specific things about Abraham Lincoln's physique, such as, his thighs are as perfect as any human's could be. But the most convincing story is a relationship that Abraham Lincoln had with a man named Joshua Speed. They met in 1837 and decided to become roommates and also decided to share a bed. This wasn't that weird for the time, especially for poor people, but a lot of people around them thought it was pretty weird that they stayed roommates and bedmates for over four years. Allegedly, there have been letters found between the two with explicit content, but they've never been made public. And finally, this is a poem written by Abraham Lincoln, which is said to be one of the first references to gay marriage in U.S. history. Things I like about femme gays. Obviously, the things about the city not apply to all gays. This is just based on my personal experience. Please not give a hurt of anybody what I'm saying. I'm giving myself a video with them gays. Thank you. First of all, their reply game? Immaculate. Almost always on point. You could text the math dude and it might take him one hour to two days to respond. Them gays respond in about 0.5 seconds. Them little niggas be running to that phone. Secondly, them gays tend to be more emotionally vulnerable. You ask him what's wrong and the answer is never nothing. He almost always tells you everything that's going on. Sometimes you don't even have to ask. Thirdly, they're the most confident in their sexuality. Don't get me wrong, I face homophobia all the time, but I go out into this homophobic world dressed like this. Some them gays face this hateful world every day in a crop top, earrings, and sometimes even makeup. So before you're so quick to bash someone who's them or exclude them from your dating pool, remember that these are some of the strongest, most caring people in the gay community. Babe, there's a spider! Babe, there's a spider! Babe, calm down. See? Look, look, look. Got it. <gasps> babe, there's a spider! Babe! There's a s Baby, what's wrong? <laughs> So I have a question for all my anti-LGBTQ plus community people out there. How does it affect you? How does it affect you if a man is sleeping with another man, unless you're in the room with them? How does it affect you if I marry another woman? How does it affect you what someone's gender identity is? Like, it's not hard to just respect people, so I don't understand. Mind your business. The same way I don't worry about what's going on with you and your pants, don't worry about what's going on with me and mine. It's that simple. If someone wants to be called he, call them he. If someone wants to be called she or they, call them they. It's so simple. And you say they all the time. You use non-binary terms all the time when referring to somebody. Someone left their book in the class. They left their book in the class. They was Charlie, bro. It was just one person. It's not hard to just be a decent human being and let people love who, want, who they want to love and be the gender identity that they want to be. It's not hard whatsoever. You just press, and that takes a lot of extra energy. Just mind your business. I promise you, life will be a lot easier for you. Every time the beat drop. Uh, you running from America to Canada, which is way more liberal than America. <laughs> Y'all running to get away from Biden to come to Canada. Canada already has gun control and universal health care and we love gay people and we support women's right to abortion. Like y'all are gonna come here, look at all this shit we got, just be like, shit. Also, we don't want you in Canada. Go somewhere else.